Hi, this is Turunik P, and this is suffix 61. The suffix today is funny, P-H-O-N-Y, as a word ending. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it now. Let's get right to it. Uh, the suffix uh, funny is added to words meaning a specific type of sound, so it's all related to sound. The suffix derives from Greek phania, meaning sound, okay? Uh, and we got several examples to show just how it's used. Here's the first one. A cacophony, an unpleasant mixture of sounds. Uh, there was a cacophony of voices that made it difficult to understand anything. All right, the next one, euphony, a pronunciation of letters and syllables pleasing to the ear, sounding nice to the ear. If you want to be a lyricist, you should study euphony. Okay, number three, symphony, the most common of all these words, an extended long piece of music usually played by an orchestra. And we also use the word symphony for the orchestra. Symphony orchestra will sometimes just refer to it as a symphony as well. Uh, all right, so a symphony orchestra will play classical or instrumental music. Okay, number four, psychophony, vocal communicating with the dead or spirits. All right, now this word is coming from Greek, psyche, meaning soul, and phony equaling sound. All right, so in psychophony, a spirit will communicate through a medium. Yeah, that's the person who understands the spirit, and then he can tell it to the other people. All right, and the last one here, telephony, the system, technology, or business of telephone communications. All right, and the origin of this is, is coming from telephone. The word telephone comes from the Greek tele, meaning far away. You know, you could speak with somebody far away. And phone, meaning voice or sound. Okay. And uh, our, so here's our last example. The, tele, the, the technology of telephony changed communication throughout the world. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.